Russian scientist invents anti-gravity platform and flies it for fast transit. I'm reading a book on Scrib, and the URL is there at the top if you want to follow along as I read. Or you can just watch the screen because I will display each paragraph and image to you. This Russian scientist is special because he made a very important discovery, one that kids are going to love. According to his own testimony, his writings, and the testimony of eyewitnesses, he found a type of insect, perhaps a wasp or a beetle, which has a cellular structure which defies gravity. How about that? He would not say which insect it was. He was an entomologist and did not want to reveal the species because he loved these creatures and felt that this particular one was endangered. If you read anything about this scientist, and they tell you which species it was, I would not trust that source. I'd consider it disinformation unless they can prove that the chitin of that particular insect which they identified has the properties aforementioned. I think their strategy is to lead you away from the real insect that has these properties and have you test an insect that does not have the properties, so your experiment will fail and you'll abandon this idea. They don't want you flying around because they want control over you. And Viktor Grabenikov frees the slaves, so they don't want you to find what he found. I am not able to reveal to you the species. I don't know which insect it was. I'm going to tell you what I've read, and if you think it's interesting, then I have accomplished my objective by telling you an interesting story. If this story inspires you to become an entomologist and research for insects which have cavity structures which produce unusual effects, and these discoveries benefit the world, then I'm pleased, and I'll be looking up from my grave and smiling at you saying, you devil, you, you did it, didn't you? If you seek out the insect which produces anti-gravity and you hunt that species to extinction, I'm going to roll over in my grave and pass some nasty gas that will make you puke. <laughs> because anything that comes out of dead people is really nasty and you deserve it because you drove a very important species to extinction and that ain't right. In fact, it's an abomination. How dare you take away all those inventions that come out of this? Do you know how many kids have watched Back to the Future with Michael Andrew Fox? I mean Michael J. Fox. His real name doesn't have a J in it. I bet you didn't.